If I had the chance, I would love to go back and do my narration of my 16 and pregnant. What, what did I say at the beginning? Hi, my name is Lee. <laughs> and my daughter with her commentary in the background. We need to do this, guys. I'm on my way. Oh my gosh, I was so devastated about my 16 and pregnant. Most girls in my family were getting pregnant at 13. Oh, this is way too hard. So for me, it was like, oh, I've got this. And then seeing all of the feedback from everyone when it did air on television, I was definitely like, oh wow, no, like I need to really evaluate being pregnant at 17. I have not watched my 16 and pregnant recently. I actually don't remember the last time that I watched it. Ali and Aaliyah have both seen clips thanks to YouTube. They laughed hysterically at the part of me peeing my pants. And they say, I don't, I don't wanna get pregnant at 17 or 16. So I think that's the goal. I am nervous and excited. I think it's a lot to look back on. There's that truck. Was it like badminton? I've never played it since, just so you know. I live in the mountains of West Virginia, <laughs> in a small town called Elkview. My house is pretty crowded. There's my brother, sister, and my mom. My dad left when I was little, so I really don't know him. I sound like a little kid. Me and my mom are really close. She spoils me rotten, because I'm her firstborn. That's Regan, that's Rachel. I that's definitely me. keep in touch with them. We definitely We're talk mom stuff now. We're all on the cheerleading team, and this year... I was always goofy. Year of high school. Maybe that is where Addy gets it from. <laughs> the girls call our camera hog. One night, and one thing led to another. Corey's two years older than me, but I'm definitely more mature. I feel like I was a little shy when I first started filming and being on camera. Now it's like my life. I wouldn't know what to do without it. Is that weird? <laughs> I lit it. Lit it. Slide it. It's lighted. <laughs> I'm pregnant with twins. Wow. I was in complete shock when they first told me that I was pregnant with twins. I had no idea what I had gotten myself into. Corey's supposed to be selling his truck since there's no room in there for two baby seats, but so far, he's been dragging his feet. It takes a lot of growing up to get rid of that truck. Yeah. The bad thing about it is this truck's been better to me than Leah has, and it's got to go. Oh. I feel bad. I mean, that is one of the elements about becoming a parent so young. He should have been able to keep that truck. It just kind of shifted and changed a lot for both of us. Black Thunder, my baby doll. Black Thunder. <laughs> I love my truck. Oh. So today, I'm dragging Corey to check out a car for sale. I think she's click kicking my bladder. Like, straight like, up Like, straight up kicking it. <laughs> Hey, look at the Tahoe for sale. <laughs> okay, so they were laughing at the cameras. The seller of the car was kind of sketched out about the cameras, and I think we were all a little bit embarrassed. So I, I don't, I laugh when I get embarrassed or nervous or anything, and that's why I started laughing. And I already had to go and use the restroom. And then all of a sudden, I couldn't hold it anymore. I got left behind. I was not telling him to leave. I was telling him to take the car. I was. I was telling him to take the car on a test drive. I literally pissed my pants right here. I just, I just didn't make it, y'all. I just didn't make it. I think I even say this is that was a big old pee or something. It's funny. <laughs> Love my water broke. No, girl, you just peed yourself. I couldn't stop it. I mean, seriously, so it's all young. the way down to my socks. That was a big old pee. My socks. That was like a big old pee. Yep. <laughs> there it is. I didn't mean to laugh at you. <laughs> this sucks so bad. Come here. That clip is hilarious. That clip is funny. And Corey and I are in great places now. Granted, we went through a lot around that time, but. It was, it was difficult. It was difficult trying to navigate adult decisions so young. That night, I decided to stay at my mom's house because I need some space from Corey. With so much on my mind, I couldn't sleep at all. Finally, I woke up my mom because something didn't feel right.
I finally decided I wanted to go to the hospital because every time I cough, I would like I felt something leaking. And I was like, I, and plus I was hurting really bad. I was cramping. I, I didn't know what to think. I honestly didn't expect to go to the hospital and then actually say my water had ruptured. Hadn't, had no idea. My mom took me to the hospital. Turns out my water finally broke. And actually when I got to the appointment, he was like, I don't think that it's your, you know, your water has broke. And during the appointment, he was like, uh, I'm wrong. <laughs> your water has broke and we are going straight to the OR. And I was like, oh, sh okay, let's go. Even though I'm not due for six more weeks, the doctor said it was normal for twins to be born early. Corey came out as soon as I called him. Even though we've been fighting a lot, I'm really glad to see him. I have to have an emergency C-section because the bottom baby is breached. <sighs> My mom was very anxious too. She didn't want me to go in the OR without her. And it was, I don't know, it was challenging for sure. Better be. I was definitely keeping a strong face. I was nervous, but I thought I was way more mature than I actually was. Aliana was born first. And one minute Eight later, not an Aaliyah arrived. <laughs> Look how little they are. There's four. There's four. Since the twins are six weeks early, the doctors took them straight to intensive care. I think I that would make every mom and wasn't even cry. Able to hold them. They're perfectly healthy. But they were so small, they had to have tubes to those little food and eye masks that they put on. After I recovered from surgery, I went to intensive care to visit them. Mm. Little babies. As a mom, I just that feeling like when you see your babies for the first time, it always it never goes away. It never goes away. That connection, that I don't know, that light. I don't know if the twins have watched their birth. I feel like they have because I get emotional every single time and I feel like I've definitely watched it around them and been like, oh, they're like, mom, what's wrong? And I'm like, look at you. And they're like, oh, stop. Like, <laughs> they, don't, they don't get it, but. The twins have to be closely monitored, so they're staying at the hospital. I didn't want to leave, but three days after giving birth, I was discharged. Oh my gosh, that's so emotional. First of all, I, I wouldn't want any one to, to have to go through that, let alone be so young. I mean, I would have made different decisions throughout my pregnancy that could have resulted in a much better delivery. I would have changed the way I ate during my pregnancy, the way I handled him at the appointments, and really, like, I probably would have educated myself more on the birth. You know, I don't know how to, how to not gotten pregnant so young, I would have grew up a lot more and been able to see that I was the foundation for my children, you know? I thought once the girls were born, motherhood would come natural to me. Just kidding. But dealing with two babies and Corey is more than I bargained for. Is it hard keeping up with both of them when they're both crying? And... Twins is hard. I didn't realize it would be so tough. Losing the sleep at night, changing the poopy diapers, twice the crying, I would carry both of their car seats, and those car seats were heavy AF. That was rough. I was like, oh man. I felt like I was running a marathon by the time I carried those car seats <laughs> from the car. It's hard. Mm. That's the only part that I enjoy. But the hard part? Yeah. Well, that's part of being <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be hard no matter what. I still look at them and I'm like, okay, that was my belly. No. That's really mine? No Do way. Like, <laughs> can we come out the other day? Right. They're mine forever. And I would have done a lot of things differently. Even when Rachel, my friend, told me, like, it's gonna be hard being a mom. Like, it just didn't, it didn't click. After watching my 16 and pregnant, I am just, I'm a little shook. It's, wow. It has been a wow. And it has been a journey. I had dreams of going to college and pursuing my career, not saying that's over, but I, I get to be a mom first, a mom to a special needs daughter, a mom to my other two daughters, and 
feel like I made the best of it at that time and I, I hope no one else is pregnant in high school. So I hope it can be prevented so you can enjoy your senior year, so you can go to college and get that education, so you can pursue your dreams and what you're passionate about. That's, that's why I do the show, to be honest with you. <laughs>